What's up, you guys? My name is Mary with uh, High Priestess Intuition HPI. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Pisces, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for sign of Pisces. This can resonate if you have Pisces in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, and Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading for sign of Pisces. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks for all the shares of my content. Don't forget to give me a word of mouth. Thanks for all the love and support to the channel. Appreciate you guys. Okay, so um, this can resonate if you have Pisces in any aspect of your chart. I check your, uh, encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node signs for additional message or messages. I'm just saying advance. I did receive one channel message as I was meditating on your energy weekly. Reading for 1115 of 2022 to 1122 of 2022. Um, the channeling I received was um, for one, a new um, offering of a job opportunity is about to come. And for one, a new offering of a business opportunity is about to come. So I feel for majority of you guys, it's you that's about to get offered the new job opportunity or business opportunity. But you know, energies can be reversed. So for some of you guys, it could be offered to you know somebody you're connected to in some situations it could be both a new job opportunity or a business opportunity offered to you and then it'd be an offer to somebody else possibly you plug it in how it resonates Pisces we have unicorn and B for some you can be dealing with earth sign or a fire sign if you are they can have Taurus Capricorn Virgo or Aries Leo Sag and there's Sun Moon Rising Venus North Node Midhaven and Jupiter charts if you are Pisces I hope everybody's doing fantastical today. I do, I do, I do. Who? Sorry, it's taking me so uh, long to get my cards. All right. I just heard that song, Since You've Been Gone. I can breathe for the first time. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Maybe one of you guys are happy somebody's left. Or maybe you left. Person, people, place, or situation. That's what I heard. Since you've been gone, I can breathe for the first time. Come along, yeah, yeah. If it's you, I get, I get what I want. Since you've been gone. If anybody knows that song. Just saying. Spirit messages you have sign of Pisces. So I feel maybe one of you guys left person, people, place, or situation. Is what I feel for some. For some, maybe um, somebody left you. But I feel for majority of you guys, you have left person, people, place, or situation. Or you're about to. How that resonates and applies. But that's the song I just channeled in. So I think that's at least for one of you guys. That, oh my God Almighty. Tower moment. Hold on a second. Okay, so sorry. I just heard tolerated, not appreciated when I was down there picking up the cards. So I think one of you guys was tolerated, not appreciated, uh, maybe at a job or a business opportunity, or some, maybe in a personal relationship or dynamic. I heard tolerated, not appreciated when I was picking up the cards. So I think one of you guys was tolerated, not appreciated, and you've already left the person, people, place, or situation, or you're about to. How that resonates and applies to Pisces. Spirit messages you have sign Pisces. You can make this up even if you wanted to. Okay, I got that channeling. I got the song channeling. I got the other channeling. Then I got someone is behaving stupidly. Someone has not been treating you fairly is what I feel for one of you guys. And I'm serious. I strongly feel that for one of you guys. And you're frustrated. Oh my God. And you're about to leave or you already have left person, people, place, or situation. 
going somewhere where you're tolerated, I mean, where you're appreciated, not a, not tolerated. Whether it's a work dynamic, 3D work dynamic, a business dynamic, or a personal relationship or relationships. Honor and respect will come to you if you've already left it or you're about to. But someone's definitely behaving stupidly. I think it's someone you've already left or you're about to leave because you're feel tolerate uh, you feel tolerated, not appreciated. Holy crap. You can't make it up even if you wanted to, ma'am. I'm serious. Okay. Let's pull one of these oracles. Spirit messages you have reflected. Playfulness, number 15, could be very significant number in one's life. Number 15, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 15. Unicorn. Someone's holding on to someone else's money. It's about to backfire on them in a huge way. Intentionally holding on to it. Malicious. Someone's intentionally holding on to someone else's money. It's about to backfire on them in a huge way. Malicious. So some malicious person is intentionally holding on to someone else's money. Intentionally. It's about to backfire on them. Now, energies can be reversed. For some, it could be your money they're intentionally holding on to. And they're malicious against you, Pisces. Or you could be the malicious person intentionally holding on to someone else's money. Um, and it's about to backfire on you. Only you know your situation story, not anybody else. Okay? But that's pretty crappy, whoever that whoever that is. That could be that someone is behaving stupidly, whether it's a Pisces that's malicious and intentionally holding on to someone else's money, or somebody's holding on to your money, Pisces, and they're behaving stupidly because they're being malicious. Yikes. Unicorn. Someone's external transformation is about to come through many series of chain events. For one, it's a Pisces. For one, it's someone else. For one, it's an earth sign. For one, it's fire sign. Okay, someone's external transformation. So external transformation. To me, that could be weight loss or weight gain. Or it can be some kind of aesthetic type beauty, beauty situation. Like Botox or a facelift or a tummy tuck or... Um, wrapping your body with saran wrap, with um, um, natural remedies to burn uh, fat, because those things exist. Just saying, I've done that shit. Or um, whatever, whatever, whatever it is, um, some kind of external aesthetic changes coming. For one, it's to a Pisces that's about to make these external ex uh, changes on themselves. So you know who you are if you're about to do this. Uh, for some, I feel it could be piercings or tattoos, possibly. I didn't hear that, but maybe. For some, it's a fire sign. For some, it's an earth sign. So, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag, Mass, Far, Femme. And you have both these energies in your animal spirit card and a Pisces. So, only you know if you're about to do this. Pisces, not anybody else. I think if it's you, you're about to display your creativity or it's going to make you more happy. To, maybe you're going to want to get out more. Uh, display your aesthetic creativity or aesthetic changes on your body, make you more playful, happy, or the fire sign or the earth sign. Number 15 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 15, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. But in this aspect, unicorns are magical. They're magical and they remind me of like the Lucky Charms of cereal. And I'm just being for real. They're very magically delicious. Like, like chunks. They're very magical. And, um, I mean, not so much delicious, but they're magical. Like, lucky chunks is what I'm saying. So, I feel um, that an aesthetic, magical transformation to your outer, whatever you're doing there. Whether it's you or a fire sign or earth sign. B. Corruption in a workplace is about to start buzzing in someone's corporate conglomerate workplace. Someone's about to have a lot of 
New people swarm your facility a lot. And they are there for reasons. Know this. Oh my God Almighty. You plug it in how it resonates. Oh, that could be the someone behaving stupidly, the corrupt corporate corrupt, corporate con uh, corruption. You're maybe for some you're gonna be frustrated by this, or you're frustrated by the corporate co corruption. How that resonates and applies. Uh, maybe for some, I feel you called into the corporate uh, hotline, corporate compliance hotline, and complained about some corporate co corruption. I didn't hear you did, but intuitively, I kind of feel that way because you have the frustration card and the someone is behaving stupidly. That's the corporate corruption. Hopefully, for some, you didn't cause the corporate corruption, but only you know if you did or didn't. But I feel for a majority of you guys, you didn't. I feel for some, you reported it to the corporate compliance hotline. I didn't hear you did, but intuitively, I feel it. Maybe you, you're going to get honor and respect come to you if you reported it and you're bringing in all these corporate people. I didn't hear they were, were, were corporate people. I heard a bunch of new people. And I heard they're there for a reason. And they're about to swarm your corporate conglomerate workplace like bees, basically. And I heard they're there for a reason and a very important reason. But it hasn't happened yet. It's upcoming if that resonates for you. I feel for some of you have called the corporate compliance hotline the buzz and you gave them the buzz is what I feel. Um, or somebody you're connected to did. And that's about what is about to cause the buzz around your facility. You don't work in corporate if this resonates for you. You work in an outlying facility attached to a corporate conglomerate. Okay? And um, they haven't showed up yet in your facility, but they're about to swarming your facility and they're very important people and it sounds like there's gonna be a lot of them holy crap these people are there to take care of business someone needs to hear this Oh my God, I heard these people are there to take care of business. Someone needs to hear this. So one of you guys needs to hear that these people are there to take care of business. So I don't know what exactly has happened in your corporate conglomerate facility there, Pisces. Um, for some, I feel maybe you have called the corporate compliance hotline. I feel for one, you didn't. So you have to plug yourself in where you did. Uh, where you did. Um, but whether you called the corporate compliance hotline or you didn't, whichever side of the karmic wheel you're on, I heard they're there to take care of business. And they're going to, and they are going to, I heard they're there to take care of business and they're going to, taking care of business every day. Oh, I'm saying. But you work in the facility, if this resonates for you, but you're about to see the swarm of folks, important people come in your facility. They're about to take care of some business every day. Confirmation on my phone, by the way. Crown, honor, and respect will come to you. Some truth a fire sign has been speaking is about to come into fruition soon. Prophetic messages. It's about to shock the hell out of one of you, but one, you knew it was coming. Okay, I heard some truth, a fire sign. So this is your fire sign truth speaker here. Um, they are giving the buzz, the 411, the buzz on the situation. They are a fire sign prophet. They could have um, Aries, Leo, Sag, and there's some moon rising, Venus, Ortho, Ben Haven, Jupiter, Charts, Pisces. But they are a fire sign prophet or prophetess. I didn't hear if they're a man or woman. It's a fire sign prophet or prophetess, masculine or femme. They have been speaking some truth. So already in the energetic space, past energy, they've already spoke some truth. I heard it's about to come true soon. Heard for one, it's going to shock you. So you didn't think. Basically, what they were prophesizing was the truth, I'm presuming. Maybe you thought it was a bunch of baloney or malarkey or you didn't believe them or what have you, what have you. But for one, you knew it was going to come true. So you have to plug yourself in where you resonate. Whether you believe the fire sign, masculine or femme, that was prophesizing or you didn't. But for one, that you didn't believe them, you're going to be shocked. When you did believe them, you knew it was coming because you knew that person was the truth. How that resonates and applies, Pisces. Crown, honor, and respect will come to you.
For one, you're about to move out of a very haunted hole. It's going to be the best thing to ever happen to you. For one, you're about to move out of, out of a very haunted home. It's about to be the best thing that ever happened to you. So, honor and respect will come to you. And that aspect is moving out of a very haunted home. One of you guys lives in a very haunted home, apparently. Um, and you're about to move out. And I think you're going to get honor. I it's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. So, honor and respect will come to you uh, moving out of the home. It doesn't sound like that's the best fit for you is what it sounds like. There's a reason it's being haunted is what I'm feeling. There's a definite reason and you know it. Okay, I heard there's a definite reason it's being haunted and you know it. So there's a definite reason this home is being haunted um, and you know it. And that's why you're about to move out. So someone is behaving stupidly. I think this is a, I think this was a bad decision moving into this home is what I think. I think you're frustrated. Of this living situation, I heard uh, you know it's the best decision for you to move out of the home. So I don't think it was a smart decision for you. Uh, that should I don't think you should have moved into the home to begin with. But I think you're highly intuitive and you know this. You definitely knew this. Okay, I heard you definitely knew this. So yeah, you knew it wasn't a smart decision to move in the home, but yet you chose to do it. But you're about to move out. So honor and respect will come to you if that resonates for you. I think you'll be able to be more yourself. Um, because I think for one, you're so stressed out because I don't think the hauntings are fun, fun hauntings. Uh, and I'm just being for real. And I think it's leaving you frustrated because there's a reason you're about to move out. I don't think it's Casper friendly ghost. I think it's like, um, grandma going wild in the spiritual realm. And I'm just being for real because I've been pulling in a very angry grandma spirit, but you plug it in how it resonates, Pisces. For one, your husband is about to pass away very unexpectedly, but you're about to handle all this like a boss. You're a femme energy. You will be very stressed, but you will handle it very tactfully and very gracefully. It will not be your doing why he passes away. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So one of you guys, your husband's about to pass away, and I've been pulling in a husband that's about to pass away. I think it has been in Pisces readings, but you plug it in how it resonates. But somebody's husband is about to pass away. Um, it's some kind, if it's the same husband, it might be a different husband. You plug it in how it resonates, but you're definitely a them. If this resonates, it applies to you. But I've been pulling in a husband that's about to pass away in a workplace injury, um, like unexpected workplace injury. Like it sounds like he's going to be at work or get severely injured at work and end up passing away. But it may be the same energy. It may be a different. You plug in and how it resonates. But if this resonates for you, your husband's about to pass away, but I heard it's not going to be your doing. So you're not a black widow. You're not secretly poisoning him or, or sabotaging him or trying to harm him. Like it's his passing is not going to be your hand or your plan, basically. Um, and I heard you're going to be very stressed out, but you're going to handle, handle it like a boss. But you're a femme energy, so you're going to take on the masculine energy, and you're going to handle this like a boss. You're going to wear that crown like a bitch, and I mean a good bitch, a good bitch, uh, like a boss bitch, just saying. And um, you're going to handle your responsibilities, basically. Um, it sounds like, I feel for one, you might have child or children. I didn't hear you did, but I feel you might. For one, it might just be adults there, but... I think it's going to make you frustrated when he passes away. And I think this um, passing away, I heard it's not going to be your doing. But it sounds like it's going to be an unexpected death. A very unexpected death. Negli negligence and error. A very unexpected death, negligence and error. So it's not going to be your hand of negligence and error. It's going to be somebody else's or his. Um, someone's going to be behaving stupidly. That's going to cause his death, basically. Whether it's his own hand or somebody else's. Um, I heard negligence and error. So, I think it's going to leave you frustrated. But you're going to handle it like a boss. P period of frustration. Lesson to be learned. You're a Pisces fan if that resonated for you.
An Aquarius is about to start blowing up your phone, blowing up your phone. You are not going to enjoy this. For some, it's a family member. For some, it's a former lover. For some, it's a current lover. It'd be smart to handle this with grace and tact. Okay, I heard an Aquarius. So a mask on a family Aquarius. They could have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, hammer, and Jupiter charts. For one of you guys, the Aquarius is a family member. For one, they're a former lover. For one, they're a current lover. You have to plug them in, how they resonate over there, Pisces, whether it's your family member, a current lover, former lover. But how that resonates, it's going to make you frustrated, I'm feeling. I feel it's going to make you very frustrated. I heard they're going to start blowing up your phone. So they haven't done it yet, but they're about to buzz, buzz, buzz you on the telephone there. But it doesn't sound like it's one phone call. It sounds like it's many. And I heard it's going to basically frustrate the hell out of you. I think they're going to be, I mean, reoccurring phone calls like that, to me, is behaving stupidly. Uh, heard, it's, heard it's basically going to basically tick you off. And uh, yeah. They're very controlling. For one, you already know this. For one, you're about to get a huge wake-up call and realize this. Okay, I heard this Aquarius energy is very controlling. So I think it leaves you frustrated for the one that already knows this Aquarius is controlling. For one, you're about to have a huge wake-up call and realize they're controlling. And it's going to leave you frustrated is what I feel. Behaving stupidly, blowing up the phone in some kind of controlling narcissistic manner. Yikes. It's an Aquarius. Mask or femme Aquarius, they can have Aquarius in any aspects of their charts, man or woman, whether it's a family member, a former lover, current lover. Turkey, someone is behaving, behaving stupidly. Someone is about to make a huge error at work, a huge error. It's not going to be your error, but for one, you're going to be blamed for it. It's about to turn into a huge thing. Way more th huge thing than you think it's going to. Oh, Lord, that's terrible. Some kind of huge error at work upcoming. It sounds like 3D workspace, if this resonates for you. Some kind of huge 3D workspace error. Um, but I heard it's not going to be you that makes the error. It's going to be somebody else. But you're going to get blamed for it. You're going to get blamed for it. And um, that's terrible. So in this aspect, someone is behaving stupidly as someone else making this huge-ass error, but you're going to get blamed for it. I heard it's going to turn into a much bigger thing than you think it's going to. So I don't think you thought it was going to... It's kind of like a, blowing a mountain. I'm making a mountain out of a molehill energy. You thought it was going to be a molehill, but it's going to turn into be a damn mountain, basically, is what I'm feeling. And I think it's going to leave you frustrated For one, you will get out of it because of the facts. For one, you will be pulled into it because of the facts. Oh, Lord, there's two of you. Okay, for one, you will get out of it because of the facts. So some kind of factual information or situation or what have you, what have you. For one, you will get out of it because of the facts. For one, you will not get out of it because of the facts. So some kind of factual information. Um, I feel this could be information on a computer or documentation or camera footage or maybe it's something on somebody. I mean, I don't, or an event or situation or what have you, what have you, but some kind of factual information. For one, you're going to get out of, it sounds like both you're going to get blamed for it or pulled into it or dragged into it or something, some kind of 3D workspace situation. One, you're going to get out of it because of some kind of factual information. So you were not really a part of it because somebody was trying to drag you into it. For one, you will not get out of it because it's some kind of factual information, meaning you should have been drug into it or they thought you should have been drug into it. So in this aspect, the one where you're going to get out of it because of factual information, I feel honor and respect will come to you and you will get out of it. But for one, you're going to get drug into it. I heard it's not, it's not something you did. It's something somebody else did. Somebody else was behaving stupidly, but they're dragging you into it um, and you're going to be very frustrated. You're not going to get out of it because of some kind of factual information. If that resonates for you. It hasn't happened yet. It's upcoming 3D workspace situation. For one, you work in a hospital. For one, you work in a bar. For one, you work in a restaurant. For one, you're a lawyer. 
For one, you work at a hospital. For one, you work in a bar. For one, you work a uh, hospital, bar, restaurant, and one, you're a lawyer. So I think that's the pulled into it situation. Or it could be the other one where you're going to get out of it. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, but I definitely think both of them, you're going to be very frustrated. For one, you're a doctor. For one, you're a doctor. And for one, you're a doctor. So you plug it in how it resonates, Pisces. I would be careful. I just want to, I didn't hear this. Just This is just my intuitive logic reasoning and guesstimate. I mean, not my intuitive logic reasoning. This is just my real world experience from just living in the real world, being 39 years old. I would really watch somebody in my workplace, whether you work in a hospital, you're a doctor, which doctors, you know, most of them visit hospitals for their practice, um, depending on what they do. But whether you're a doctor, a uh, work in a hospital in any occupation or you, you're working a restaurant or what was the other one or your lawyer or what have you what have you i'd really be watching some something somebody else is doing i i mean i feel double checking energy on documentation double checking on procedures double checking like double checking energy because somebody is about to make an error but it's not going to be you but it's about to cause a molehill to blow into a mountain. And I think people are going to be buzzing about this shit. Um, and it's about to turn into a much bigger thing and you didn't think it was going to. Playfulness. Oh, shit. Whoa. Okay, Pisces. Um, sometimes the messages. Holy crap. Okay. For one of you guys, I heard you're about to get a new sex swing. Um, I, I didn't want to pull in and tap into that kind of energy, but it did. So um, that's for one of you. You're about to get a new sex swing. Well, you have fun with that. I'm sure you'll have lots of you know, adult entertainment on that shit. Um, just saying, just saying. Um, I think sex swings are awesome if you're in a healthy, copacetic um, relationship and you're not just doing every Tom, Dick, and Harry, because you do that, there's a risk of getting STDs, very serious, incurable STDs. Um, so just please be safe, good sexual health on your sex swing. Um, whoever you are there, Pisces, that's about to acquire a sex swing. Um, if it, I, I didn't hear if it was new or used, but if it's used, I hope you disinfect it. Just saying, just saying. Yeah. Playfulness on the sex swing. You haven't acquired it yet, but it sounds like you're about to. For one, you're about to go rock climbing. For one, you're about to go rock climbing. And for one, you're in a new relationship. One, you're about to be in a new relationship. Okay, so for one of you guys, you're about to get a new, uh, uh well, I didn't, I didn't hear if it was new or used sex swing, a sex swing. I hope it's new. <laughs> I mean, I, there's just things I don't buy used. I buy a lot of shit used, just me personally. I buy a lot of shit used if it's in good condition and quality. But underwear or bras, I don't buy used. Never, never, never. I don't think, I would never buy a sex swing used. And that's just the truth. Anything to do with genitalia or private areas, like a sex toy, hell to the his no, I would never buy a sex toy used. Sex swing to me is like sex toy material. But, whether it's new or used, one of you guys about to acquire a sex swing. One, you're about to go rock climbing. Congratulations. And for one, you, um, you're you about to be in a new relationship. And I think it's going to make you happy and you're going to be very playful in the relationship. It's a new relationship upcoming. And for one, you're already in a new relationship, fairly new relationship. I think it makes you happy. You've been playing around, joking around. I think it's easy, fun, playful relationship. How that resonates with what?
A tattoo artist is about to become very significant in uh, Pisces' life. And an electrician. A tattoo artist and an electrician is about to become very significant in Pisces' life. So, a tattoo artist and an electrician. Now, however, they're going to become significant in your life. I think for some, you might be dating the tattoo artist or the electrician or about to be dating a tattoo artist or an electrician because we have dating energy in here, relationship energy. Or for some, I feel you could be going to get a tattoo or somebody you're connected to is about to go get a tattoo or you just know a tattoo artist and an electrician. So you could be dating the electrician, about to be dating the electrician, um, getting electrical services from the electrician. Or you just know an electrician. How that resonates and applies. Or you're about to meet a tattoo artist or an electrician. How that resonates and applies. All right. I love you guys. I hope this helped. Namaste.